Hello everyone, this is Savior X Tanran here from the Mixup development team. We wanted to prepare a short video to help you with your migration process from Mixer to Twitch and attempt to answer as many questions as you may have. Throughout this video, we'll talk about what changes you can expect in your experience, what features are being added, removed, or temporarily disabled, as well as important things to know about differences between Mixer and Twitch. If you still have questions after watching this video, please visit our Discord server. We'll first start off with logging in and accessing your settings. If you already have existing settings, you'll be able to select them as you normally do from the streamer menu. If you are a new user, you can create a set of settings like you have before by clicking the login button and going through the new user wizard. We've temporarily disabled the moderator login feature while we evaluate the existing moderator tools on Twitch to see if there is a need. If you are logging in with an existing set of settings, a web browser prompt will open asking you to authenticate your Twitch account with MixItUp. Make sure you're signed in with your correct account, read over the information, and then approve the authentication request. As part of the login process, we'll perform upgrades to your settings to help transition your data over to Twitch as much as possible. All of your commands and data will transfer over and be available to use, though some might be altered or not publicly visible depending on the feature that it is a part of. Let's start by covering the main feature areas in the app, specifically what have been added, removed, or temporarily disabled. In most cases, a majority of the features will remain as is with little to no changes. Let's first cover what features are being removed. The Mix Play feature is being removed as this was a Mixer specific feature. Although Twitch has extensions, these do not function the same way as Mix Play and cannot be supported by us. References to Sparks, Embers, and Milestones have been removed and will be replaced with bits down the road. The Mix It Up Auto Hoster has been removed in favor of Twitch's built in auto hosting solution. Let's now cover what features will be temporarily disabled to be re added later. The channel page is being removed while we work to integrate the changes supported by Twitch for updating your channel information. Expect this feature to come back fairly shortly. Access to the Mix It Up Store and Mix It Up Remote features are temporarily being removed, as both of these features have a dependency on your Mixer user information. These will require some time for us to update these to become platform agnostic, as well as to add new features that we've been planning for a while. Due to the differences in how chat whispers work on Twitch versus Mixer, all automated chat whispers from things such as error messages will be changed to regular chat messages instead. However, anything that is specifically indicated to be a whisper by you, such as via a chat action, will continue to be an actual whisper. Now let's talk about what features will be receiving changes or are being added. Mixer Clips functionality will be temporarily disabled while we currently investigate what is supported on Twitch for clips. Event commands specifically pertaining to Mixer are now going to be replaced by their equivalent for Twitch. Any existing Mixer event commands you have will be migrated over to their Twitch equivalents for you. Twitch's hosting system has a distinction between hosts and raids. Hosts are treated more as a passive action that is done when you are watching someone stream or via their auto hoster. Raids, on the other hand, are more of a directed action that brings your current viewers over to the channel, typically from an existing stream. As such, there are a channel hosted and channel rated event command that you can use for each of these situations. If you were to base something off of what the most equivalent version would be from Mixer, you will most likely want to use the channel rated command, as that will indicate an active host, typically, that is coming from another channel. Twitch's channel point system can be seen as a close equivalent to Mixplay and is our recommended migration path. Affiliates and partners have the ability to create custom channel points rewards, which can be then directly associated with a command to mix it up. Simply head to the channel points page, create a command with the same name as your channel points reward, and that's it. If you have old mixplay commands in your settings, you'll be able to select them from the drop down the right and import them in into what will be an equivalent channel points reward command. All services will continue to work as they did on Mixer, however you will be required to re-authenticate with certain ones. This is due to the fact that for those services you authenticate with on your Mixer account, but now you must authenticate with them on your Twitch account. The following services will automatically be disabled when you log in and you will need to re-enable them on the services page. Streamlabs, Stream Elements, Tippy Stream, Treat Stream, and Stream Jar. If there is a feature that you are curious about that we did not cover, assume that that feature will continue to work. For users that are moving to platforms other than Twitch, we will be investigating support for more platforms in due time once we have stabilized things on Twitch. Finally, let's cover how your users can migrate their data from their Mixer account to their Twitch account. 
While a user is in your chat, they can run the command exclamation point link Mixer account, along with what their name was on Mixer. If that Mixer account information exists, they will receive a message back saying that they are attempting to link their Mixer account to their Twitch account. Moderators will need to look at this message and ensure that the user that is requesting this access is in fact the same person as they were on Mixer as they are on Twitch. It's important that moderators correctly verify the user who is attempting to merge their name is in fact the same user on Twitch and on Mixer, as not all users will have the same name on both platforms. If they are indeed the same user, then a moderator can approve that Mixer merging by typing Approve Mixer Account along with their equivalent name on Twitch. This will take the user data from Mixer and merge it into their Twitch user data. This includes things such as viewing time, currency, inventory, titles, and more. After this is done, the user data for their Mixer account will be removed completely from your settings. It is also important to note that users must do this in each channel they participated in, as commands and data only exist for you on your computer alone. While we transition to Twitch, please be aware that you might encounter issues while using MixItUp. If you run into a problem, make sure to visit our Discord server for help. Also be sure to follow us on Twitter and Twitch to keep up to date on all news about MixItUp. Thank you all for your support, and we look forward to continuing to help empower your stream.